Uh, we're at the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds. I'm here with John Shaw and Lady Diabla, and we're going to do a little piece, and i got to tell you all about them. Okay, Steve Fravey Newscast. I'm here at the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds, and I'm with two really unique, talented people. If you haven't caught their show, it's the original Sinner's Sideshow. Now, I've been here, I've seen Ted Nugent, I've seen the Beach Boys, and it brings back a lot of memories. But when you're talking about something new, something unique, that's going to etch something in your mind to give you something new to think about, this is it. I'm with John Shaw, right? Yes. And Lady Diablo, right? Yep. Now, we caught their show Friday night, we caught it Saturday night, we even caught it a little bit last night on Monday night. That's three times. And, you know, if, if you haven't seen somebody take a drill with what looks like a 7, 8-inch drill bit on there and just drive it all the way up their nostril, okay, you need to see this show, okay? Or if you haven't seen somebody take a sword that looks like it's going on two and a half, three feet long and swallow it, which is what you did, yeah. okay, then, then this is – and this is real stuff, absolutely real. Talk to me about the drill first, John. I, I want to hear that because I wasn't <laughs> I, I wasn't that up close, yeah. but I can hear it. And it yeah, yeah. You know, well, the drill is uh, it's a Black and Decker drill, and it's actually a six inch long masonry bit. And then I take that and I drill it straight back into my nasal cavity and goes right over the roof of my mouth, just underneath the brain, and it travels straight back all the way into the skull. And it's all absolutely real. We do some magic in the show, but all the stunts we do in the show are completely authentic. Listen how casually he talks about it. You know? <laughs> I take this drill bit and it just goes underneath the brain stem and I, I have no problem. Now, okay, now, Lady Diablo, you took a sword, okay? Right. And, and first you used, well, you know, like a kind of makeshift sword, like, like a, a coat hanger, hanger right? A coat hanger fashioned into a sword. Mm -hmm. And that's just to prove to everyone that sword swallowing is real. Most people think that it's fake or that it bends or folds. So that just shows the audience that it is, in fact, real. And then you, you took what looked like about, you know, 24, 28 inch sword. Yeah, tw 26 inches of, of uh, yeah. solid steel. Yep, and it goes all the way down my throat. It goes down past my heart, down past my lungs, down to the bottom of my stomach. How did you get started? I mean, you don't just wake up in bed, you know, one morning and go, I think I'm going to go swallow that sword. You know, how did you get started with that? It takes years and years of training, actually. And, uh,. I learned from a, a, a guy on, on another show, and uh, it took years to learn, though. It takes years of learning and training and getting over all those reflexes because you have uh, three gag reflexes, and one that enters your stomach, one right here, and one in, in uh, down around here. So you have to learn how to relax everything, and uh, then it, that allows the sword to pass down. And it's going all the way, and you're not worried about that it's going to do any damage? I mean, it, clearly it oh, could. Yeah. Yeah, I am every time. I mean, you train yourself, but you never know when something could happen. But um, hopefully it doesn't. But it's a risky take every day. Well, I'll tell you, of all the shows that you could see here, and, and you know, there's the concerts and, and there's the little things that are going on out there. Um, and and I'm, I, I'm a big fan of everything that's been going on here. But this is clearly, of all my years going to the Antelope Valley Fair, this is the most unique show I've ever seen because it, it is real. I've never seen anyone take a drill bit before and, and just, you know, hey, this is what I want to do, you know, or, or a sword. Um, they do th things with darts that, I, you know, you you got to check it out. And I, I don't know how you, you know, deal with it. But but I did take a look at your MySpace page, okay? okay? And the darts are kind of uh, a, a calm compared to some of the – I saw some pictures on there of some stuff that – that were pretty intense, yeah? Oh, yeah, you're talking about the, the flesh piercing and the suspension and things like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do that in other shows and other venues. The fair, we tend to tame things down quite a bit. But in other shows, uh, yeah, I do suspension and hang from hooks in my body and uh, take skewers and shove them, you know, through my arms and through my face and... Things of that nature. Now, hanging from hooks and skewers and stuff, is that, are those like, like ear piercing? I mean, are those holes there for all, all the time oh, that you no, can... freshly pierced every time. I don't even want to ask, <laughs> okay? I really don't. Now, John, you, yeah. you've, you've appeared on television on a lot of shows, right? Yeah, yeah, I've done uh, a lot of national television shows and some uh, international shows across the, the pond. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, Howard Stern, Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, a lot of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, see, we're talking about some big-time stuff, and if you haven't caught this show, 
of all the things that you want to see. If you want something that's a little bit edgy, yes. but definitely, well, it, it is. It's a little it, bit edgy, well, that's but, but it's enjoyable. To something different to the fair market. We're here for more a little bit of an older crowd. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have kids or, or you know, you're looking to hang out and have a couple of beers, because we're in the beer garden, come on down, see something that's a little bit different that's not, you know, for the every average everyday fair goer, you know, mm-hmm. just come down and see something new rather than seeing the pig races or something you might have seen before. This is something different that we're trying to bring an old style show back to town. Right. Now, on top of that, though, they're here at the Emerald Valley Fairgrounds. As soon as they're done at the fairgrounds, I think right after Labor Day, you're in uh, at the L.A. County yes, Fairgrounds? we travel from here. We end here on the 29th, and then we travel to the L.A. County Fair, and we'll be only going to be there for three days only, uh, the 4th, 5th, and 6th of September. So if you guys want to come down and see the show there, that show will probably be a little bit different there because we're allowed to do a little bit different things at that show than we can do at this show. So we encourage people to come down. It's only an hour and a half away, so it's not too bad. It is. It's only an hour and a half away. It's, it's a bigger fair much larger than the Antelope yeah, Valley Fairgrounds, right. and they're going to be there. So if you don't have a chance to catch their act, although I know a lot of the people seeing this are going to come down tomorrow and they're going to want to see it, if you don't have a chance, make it over to the L.A. County Fairgrounds and catch their show because it's something you don't want to miss. And obviously, if they've been on Jay Leno and all these shows, this is the real deal. I mean, you got to really see it. you got to check it out. I want to say thanks to both of you. Thank thanks you. thanks yeah, very much. I know you're getting ready to do a show. Yes, we're getting ready to thank go you. a few minutes. All right. Well, we're going to come out there, and maybe we'll catch a little bit of the show. Okay, we have a couple of nights before, and, and it's great to see. So, again, thank you very much. Oh, thank you.